the Joe Rogan experience. Now, since 2004, have there been plans implemented to clean up oh, and yeah. also restore waterways and all the different... Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And so now there's like a whole, they realize this is an issue. And so there's, there's precedent. There's very much so. And, and that largely came from what we saw, you know, in those early years, the 2004 first stop on down there on Dexter Canyon Creek. And then what we had on Sierra Azul, when my partner was shot in 2005. About then we started to also see the banned poisons in these grows, like the carboferian bottles. Um, and just to give a background, this stuff is so deadly. Um, it was made as an insecticide or odenticide just to kill anything that you put on any type of agricultural product. And it was made originally back in, I think, like the 50s for legitimate agriculture. And then they found out how toxic it was, and EPA banned it from use or even possession. It's a felony to have it in the country and use it anywhere without special licenses um, through legitimate channels here in America. And they banned it like 15 years ago because it was so nasty. But because it does keep everything off the marijuana plants, I mean, nothing can even get near it without dying almost instantly. They still get it in third world countries. They can get it in Mexico. And it gets smuggled across the border with the grow groups, the, the drug trafficking groups, because it's so effective, regardless how poison it is. And we were starting to see more and more of that stuff as we were starting to ramp more of a specialty to doing this job more, you know, thoroughly and safely and get into the cleanup. Now, this is one of the many things I, I brought this up with Dan Crenshaw the other day, and I, I talked about you and um, because he's uh, against federally making marijuana federally legal. And I said, well, one of the problems with it being illegal is this. And I was explaining these grow ops that for the rest of the country where marijuana is illegal, right. the vast majority, like what was the number that you said, the percentage that was is grown in California that's illegally sold through the rest of the country? 70 to 80%. So 70 to nation. 80% of the entire marijuana population or marijuana right. product that you're buying if you live in a place like... South Dakota, where, wherever right. it's, I don't even know if it's legal in South Dakota, wherever it's illegal, right. they're buying it from here. Exactly. And it's because, one of the reasons is because our state laws say that, well, first of all, we're close to Mexico, so the cartel right. members can come up really quickly. Right. And then the other problem is that our state laws, when we made marijuana legal recreationally here, we severely lowered the penalty for an illegal grow up. It became a misdemeanor, correct? That was the, that was the thing. You know, when, when we started the the department's special team, the, the Spec Ops Marijuana Enforcement Team that Hidmore goes into, um, part of my job as being the co-founder of that and the team leader was outreach. So I was speaking to legislative groups before we legalized under Prop 64 and then the tighter medicinal marijuana laws that, that came about that same time. Um, and I was talking to anybody, conservation groups that you and I would, you know, be part of, um, preservation animal rights groups high school kids, you know, assemblies, right? Watch out, you know, if you're using weed, make sure you're not using this stuff because it's so nasty, yeah. things like that. Um, and my whole point was, if we're going to regulate guys, we see it coming, let's just regulate smart. Let's not lessen any penalties for the trespass grow that the cartels are doing on our public lands and private lands and also the other gang groups. And there's, there's other groups, you know, to a smaller extent. Um, but unfortunately, when we did regulate and all that was passed two years ago, they did water it down. So public See, land cultivation went to, like you said, a, a felony to a misdemeanor. And if you're a juvenile cultivator on public private land and one of these juvenile, you know, cartel members, and there's a lot of young ones learning, it's, a, it's an infraction. And that took a lot of emphasis away from that part of the problem mm. and left us out there basically alone with a couple other agencies to fight it. Well, for the average person, that would sound, before you knew about the cartel grows, that would sound like a good idea. Well, right. hey, if marijuana is legal, what's the problem? What's yeah. the big deal? Exactly. Yeah. Then the other problem is these people that are buying this marijuana in the rest of the country, it's highly likely that they're going to have some of that pesticide on it. Right. And how bad is that stuff? Has that stuff ever killed someone from smoking this illegal marijuana? We don't know if it's killed anybody directly because by the time it gets distributed throughout the country, it does dissipate a little bit, but it's still highly toxic. To put it in perspective, about three years ago, we had two federal officers back east, not even in California, in a public land grow that had all that toxic on it. So they have cartel grows out there? They do. They do. They On actually, the East Coast. we have them in about 20, 25 to 27 other states to a much lesser extent. And something we need to look at is California, 
I mean, we're one of only six Mediterranean climates on the whole globe. So we are a great weed growing state, just like our wine industry, man. We got great, great weather for it. So we can grow outdoors and indoors. I mean, February to almost December, right? And that's why it's grown here. And that's why the black market, both in, you know, the private land communities and the cartels are everywhere across the country with this stuff. But they'll go wherever they can to, you know, diversify the network. So we do have it in other states to a much lesser extent. And then something we need to remember is even though about half the country has these grows in them to, to a lesser extent than California, these same groups are under the same enterprise that are hum, doing human trafficking, doing gun running, you know, to fuel the, the fight down in Mexico, uh, methamphetamine production, and now the new synthetic fentanyl that's just killing thousands, especially on the East Coast, are coming from these groups. So it's all one enterprise. And of course, we focus on the cannabis issue because that's what's affecting our wildlands and our waterways it's right at the hub so yeah it is it's it's nationwide it's not a california problem and we made really really careful even though we're talking about a team in california game wardens we're trying to tell a nationwide story mm. because the nation needs to know <laughs>